Cinco de Mayo. We often know of it, but we don't know it well. What is it? A cultural heritage festival with dancing senoritas and men in sombreros? Here in the U.S., we're game for the fiesta. Well, what exactly are we celebrating? Is it Mexican Independence Day? No, that's the day celebrating Father Hidalgo's original call for freedom from Spanish rule made on 16 September 1810. Cinco de Mayo commemorates Mexico's victory over French invaders. To defend the homeland, Mexicans dug in at Puebla, famous for its 365 churches. They improvised to compensate for their inferior equipment. They lit fires to signal for reinforcements. They gained high ground advantage. They rallied against the state-of-the-art French artillery. And they stampeded cattle to break French battle formations. And they won the Battle of Puebla on Cinco de Mayo, 1862. But it took five more years to win the war. Mexican Americans in California and Texas helped defeat the French. Californios boarded ships to go fight in Mexico. This was a big risk because Abraham Lincoln's government was enforcing the Neutrality Acts. The French consul paid spies and customs agents to stop them and send them to jail. In Texas, Tejanos also helped. Like the Californios, they had to watch out for French allies in the United States. In this case, Confederates who had sided with the French. Sometimes they had to fight on both sides of the Rio Grande. In this sesquicentennial of the Battle of Puebla on Cinco de Mayo, Mexican-Americans can celebrate Mexico's victory, which was also theirs. <laughs>